Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to make your own cloth diaper pail liners for a um, for cloth diapering. So the you, the few things that you're going to need are some pool, um, pool or PUL fabric, as well as elastic and a trash can. You're also going to need a sewing machine with some thread. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is measure the height. Of your trash can as well as the um, area around the lid of the trash can to find out just how much material you're gonna need for a standard one for a standard 11 gallon trash can you're gonna need one yard of pull and if you're using anything smaller than that then you're going to need to do some measuring so I'm gonna um, get the trash can and the measuring tape and I'll be right back Okay, so here is my trash can. I'm using a 3.5 or 3.6 gallon trash can. Um, I did put the diapers in there and just kept shoving them in until I could find one that was enough for a day, maybe two, um, in order to, before I washed. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is measure the height of your trash can. So this trash can is roughly 16 inches tall. So I'm going to add um, four inches to that because I want it to be able to wrap around the inside of, well not the inside, it's actually going to go this way. I'm going to want it to wrap around the outside of the trash can uh, and be secure around the edge. So I'm going to need um, at least tw a 20 inch high piece of pull fabric that has been folded in half so really I'll need a 40 inch long piece of fabric the next thing I'm gonna do is start at one end of the top and I'm gonna measure the length this way which mine is seven and then I'm gonna measure this way which is ten I'm gonna add those together so that's 17 inches and then I'm going to add about three inches onto that for seam allowance and for the elastic to go in. So I will need one piece of pull fabric that has been folded in half that is 20 inches high by 20 inches wide. So I'm going to go cut that and I will be right back. So now that I have my 40 inch long by 20 inch wide piece of fabric, I'm going to need to sew the seams together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refold it back in half with the wrong sides of the material together. The wrong side of a pull fabric is the shiny side, that's the um, waterproof backing. The right side is the cloth. So with the cloth sides facing out, I'm going to sew about a quarter of an inch or so all the way down both sides to create the seams. Once I've done that I'll come back to show you what's next. Now that I've gotten that inside seam um, sewn both sides I'm gonna flip the fabric inside out so that the right sides of the fabric or the cloth sides are together. Just like this. You're going to want to make sure that the corners are pulled all the way out because we're going to make another seam on the inside. We're going to reinforce this seam. It's called a French seam. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew yeah. another seam in, making sure that the, the first seam that we sewed is completely encased in the fabric. So we're going to sew, you can kind of see right here where the first one is. We're going to sew just on the other side of that. We're going to do that to both sides and I'll be right back to show you what's next. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put an elastic band around the top of the diaper pail so that it securely fastens to the actual diaper, um, to the trash can. So how you're going to do that is you're going to take your elastic. This is just quarter inch long elastic and you're going to wrap it around the diaper pail or the trash can and you're going to want to pull it fairly tight. Where it overlaps you're going to want to cut roughly an inch or so over 
the overlap. So mine was about right here. So I'm just going to snip it. And then we're going to create the casing for the elastic to go in. So that should be pretty good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your pull fabric and with the shiny side facing up you're going to fold over roughly a quarter of an inch and then you're going to fold it another quarter of an inch. This is going to create a little pocket for the elastic to go in. You're then going to want to sew along this inside edge all the way around leaving roughly an inch or two gap from where you started to where you ended so that you can thread the elastic all the way through. I'm going to sew the casing and I'll be back to show you what's next. The next step in the process is to thread your elastic through the opening that you created so that you can have it all the way a band basically. So what you're going to do is you can use either two safety pins or if you have um, one of these elastic threaders, you're going to essentially want to put a safety pin or the thre elastic threader in one side of the elastic and then pin the other end of the elastic to the start of the opening. And then, let me just get this closed. <clears throat> then you're just going to insert the um, elastic threader or the safety pin into the opening and work the material down making sure that you don't actually pull the elastic all the way through. So the easiest way is to just squish it down and then pull some through and then just keep going all the way around it shouldn't take very long because the diaper is not, or the cover is not that large. So you just keep shoving the fabric down and then pulling it. Once you get back to the opening, you Pull the elastic through just like so. Take the paper, the safety pins off, making sure that neither end of the elastic goes back into the into the casing, or you're going to have to start all over. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just pull it a little bit, just so that you have some slack to work with. And you're going to overlap the edges just like when we before we cut it. You're going to overlap the edge. Let's see if I can show you here. And you're going to sew back and forth along the, the sides. Just back and forth um, to get a really good secure. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what's next. So now you can see I kind of have it in a loop. What you're going to do is you're going to stretch the opening out so that the elastic all kind of sucks into that opening um, and kind of just evenly distribute the elastic part so that it goes around. If it doesn't go all the way and look the exact same, that's really okay um, because you just want it to grip onto the trash can. Once you have that done, you're going to pull it tightly and you're going to re-sew the opening you're going to sew that opening closed just the same way that you did before. Just pulling tight to make sure that the elastic does not get sewn into that seam. Okay, and when we turn the diaper pail liner inside out, 
our right side out, I guess. This is kind of what we're left with is a little bag. You're going to want to make sure that it fits into your trash can. So you're just going to go ahead and take your trash can, put it in there, make sure it goes all the way to the bottom, and then just fold it around. And it's a perfect fit. So the last step is going to be anytime you make anything out of a pull material, when you put the little holes in there, it um, creates little puncture holes. So what you're going to do is you're going to re-put this, you're not re-put it, you're going to put it in the dryer for roughly 20 to 30 minutes on the highest heat setting that you can so that all of those holes reseal. And there you have it, a waterproof diaper cover. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Bye.